Awesome. Awesome stuff right there. Yeah, every morning we're trying to motivate you with amazing stories, not just international, as you've just seen, but also local. So imagine my myself when I went on Facebook and I started stalking this lady and I realized, wow, from where she started and where she's gotten to today, it's a beautiful journey and I want you guys to hear it as well. Her name is Veronica and she's here looking gorgeous as ever. Come out here, honey. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. You're How are you? Great. Thank you. I'm Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. And you. Thanks for coming. I am so nervous. Oh Don't God. be. I, I love it when okay. guests are nervous, you know. Why? Because I've had a couple of guests uh, I've interviewed who were not nervous. Okay. And it just fell apart. <gasps> because I think overconfidence it doesn't work sometimes. Do, 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 do. So you're okay. Okay, fine. And yeah. you have Minute Maid there. Thank you. And you can drink it at any time. Thank How you are you? I'm fine. You look great. Thank you. So do um, you. Thank you. Yeah. Looking at, of course, uh, the beauty industry mm -hmm. and the fact that I think Kenya woke up about two decades ago and realized, wow, there's potential here. Mm -hmm. what, what was your story? My story started basically with one bad wig. Yes. Okay. Um, I was going natural and um, I was tired of intrusive hair techniques. So I decided I needed a solution that would, um, would complement my natural hair journey without um, messing up my edges and stuff like that and it would also be easy to take care of. Okay. So I bought one bad wig and that led me to doing research on um, how to make the perfect wig or yeah. the most natural wig. And I found that every time I would practice on the wig, I would just really enjoy the process. And um, with my one bad wig, which started <laughs> looking good, I had friends who started inquiring about, okay, where did you buy your wig, et cetera, et cetera. How do you customize your wig? And it just started with that one bad wig yeah. that I customized. And then I started selling. I started with selling one, and okay. then it became two, and then three, and then I ordered 10, customized those, and it just blew up. It just worked. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. Seeing actually that mm -hmm. there was need, you know, mm -hmm. when, when, when you see an idea that works mm -hmm. for you, mm -hmm. the next step is to see, do other people need this product, yes, and, and right. how can I provide it? Right. Looking at that and the format of mm -hmm. sort of coming up with a business mm -hmm. um, and actually actualizing it mm -hmm. as a fully-fledged revenue-running business, mm -hmm. tell me about that decision. Um, it, you know, I... I it was, it was really never part of the plan. It kind of snuck up on me. Mm -hmm. And um, I kind of got obsessed with buying wigs, customizing them, and serving people. And um, just that whole end-to-end -end process um, just gave me so much satisfaction yeah. and fulfillment. And um, it just became an obsession. I'd dream about wigs. I'd dream about like, the next look I'm going to create. And then after that, because there was so much need for it, mm -hmm. I, um, I started working door to door, delivering door to door. Yeah. Then it moved from door to door to my house. Yeah. And then after that, I became overwhelmed because my doorbell was always ringing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to write a plan, a business plan, put it down on paper, and work towards that goal every okay. single day. And that's when our first flagship store was born, and that's wow. Barashka Wigs. But let me be mm -hmm. honest, that, yes. that, you know, nobody talks about that time, the tears, yes. oh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. the, the calls that mm -hmm. are not open, right. the doors that have been shut in yeah. your face. Okay, yes. You know, the bank telling you, nah, credits thing, you know, yes. all of that. People yes. forget that. But by the time you got to that store, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of, a lot of mm -hmm. things happened. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that challenge. And here, speaking, of course, to many other people who are mm -hmm. trying to start their businesses yes, and feel like right. it's so daunting. How yes. will I do it? Of course, um, access to credit, for one, yeah. especially if you want to scale your business, that is always a challenge. And um, I went around it. I said, OK, I can't access credit as much as I would like to. So yeah. I'm going to do it without accessing credit. I will reinvest every sale back into the business. Okay. Yes. So that's one challenge that most people maybe would have fallen back faced with that. You know, a lot of people complain about lack of capital mm -hmm. when starting your business, but it's doable. It's doable without 
having to go to any financial institution or any credit. It is doable. I think it's, it's what you've said mm -hmm, earlier. It's mm -hmm. taking those baby steps, small yes, bites. You yes, know? Don't bite yes. off too much. Because yes. if you had ordered 100 wigs and then had <laughs> them in stock yes. and no one to sell them to. But you started with one and then 10 and then. Yes. And that, and that says, says a lot. Yes, you, yeah. you test the market at each stage. Um, doing deliveries is different from having people come to you. So I tested, I was like, will people come to me if I, I'm not willing to deliver to them? Right. And I tested that platform using my house and people were coming to my house. So that was the aha moment that now people will come to me. That's awesome. And that's when I said, I'm gonna go for it. That's it's gonna so it's gonna work. It is gonna yes. work and yes. it is working. Yes. Looking at your Facebook the other day, mm -hmm. I saw that you even took a trip to China. Yes. Tell me about that. Like sort of looking at your business from an international perspective. Um I traveled to China, to in, in India and to Singapore. Okay. Yeah. Um of course China is the largest one of the, because of manufacturing, right. they're big on manufacturing. That's one of the reasons I went there because I'm looking to scale the business, not only in Kenya, in Africa, and also globally. Um, that's, that, is, that is really my vision. My vision is just not here, what I see. I have a much greater vision and, it's, and that's one of the reasons I took the step, you know, to yeah. go to China and discuss with manufacturers on how we can set, you know, operating procedures, quality standards, etc. So, if you buy one Varushka wig here, mm -hmm. it'll be the same one I will send all over this to set standards. That's amazing. And India, basically, it was also in search of uh, raw materials. Okay. Also, learning about um, the different techniques on wig making, um, visiting several factories. Um, knowing the difference between good quality, bad quality, knowing how to test the hair myself, making sure that it's pure, raw, virgin hair. It's not mixed with any fiber, any artificial fiber. It was just a learning, it was a learning business trip. Yeah. And also networking. And it gave me more direction on the next steps and also a clearer path for my next vision. And that really was what it was about. That's and amazing. I went clueless. I did not even know where I was going or nothing. but. It and was, you, you seem was, to have yes. learned quite a bit from, I did. from the stories that you put I, out there. I did learn That's so quite great. a bit, yeah. There's something about, and I think you guys can agree with me, there's mm -hmm. something when, when someone comes up with a great idea, like yeah. I always refer to this quail eggs. Quail we eggs. all want to sell quail eggs. We're all looking <laughs> yeah. for quails, right? Because uh -huh. it's, it's the thing to do. Mm -hmm. I feel like weaves, and especially human hair, mm -hmm. and all these wonderful exotic weaves mm -hmm. came into the market. Mm -hmm. And then everybody and their mother started selling weaves. Mm -hmm. um, and you can now find them everywhere. Yes. And then wigs became a thing yes. recently. Mm -hmm. And so now everybody's getting into wigs. Yes. How do you deal with competition, Veronica? I'll, t I'll tell you how I deal with competition based on the feedback I get from my clients. Okay. They all talk about the service the level of service that um, we give each and every client mm. that walks in through our doors. And um, my business is not really about just selling a wig. Um, I look, it's further than that. It's about how you make um, a woman feel. I tend to be, you have to understand the emotional experience of your, your customer, yeah? Buying something is really an emotional experience. And so we, we tend to combine that in, 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 in conjunction with the sale of our wigs. And we hope to give that experience always. And that, that you asked, like, that will set us definitely right. apart. And also, we're not content with, you know, I could be content with the type of wigs I was selling before, but we we look at product development always. I'm always looking at improving what I was selling a year ago. Okay. So if you if you look back, what I had one year ago to what I have today, there is a great improvement on product, on service, on everything. And it doesn't stop there. I'm always trying to master and remaster that craft. Oh, to just, you know, it, it never reaches a state of perfection. Yeah. There's always better. Like even for the iPhone. Right. iPhone 1 is not what we have. In, there's always room for development and growth. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Looking at, of course, uh, the fact that the natural hair movement, mm -hmm. you started out there too. Yes, I'm I did. I'm wearing a wig right now because I'm on the natural hair movement. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
yeah. Oh, nice. So uh, a lot of people actually decided mm -hmm. to go in that direction, yeah, right. uh, which meant, uh -huh. I, I don't know if I'm right, uh, men against weaves. Have you guys seen Maui? Yes. <laughs> and they're so proactive and loud. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> it's like, what are you guys doing? We look pretty and we love ourselves, leave us alone. <laughs> yeah. But weaves now became a thing, yeah. um, or, yeah. or I guess mm. artificial hair became a thing that yeah. to shun at. Although yes. I, mm. I don't, I feel like every woman should embrace whatever she feels that she looks good in. Yeah. How, what do you feel about that? I feel, I mean, every woman <laughs> can make the choice yeah. really on and on whatever she wants to do with herself. It's really her choice. She's the one who yeah. has to carry that body. Absolutely. And it's really what is happy and what you're comfortable with. That's all that matters. That's Nothing so awesome. else matters. Yeah. Nothing and else I'll matters. say what I'll tell you guys. My friends used to call me sometimes and say, Hey, Kobe, you copy and you salon. Because literally, I would take about eight hours for real. I would walk in in the morning. And I mean, I'm doing everything mm -hmm. like not just hair, facial, nini, manicure, pedicure, all these things, right? And I discovered wigs. Yes. <laughs> do you know what I do with my wig now? I sit at home, I call my hairdresser, I send a rider. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my hair is washed, it's curled, and it's brought back to me. And yeah. it has made my life so wonderful. S save time. Yeah. And you save money. money. It's as true. Well. You yes. save a you lot of save money. save a lot of you money. You save a lot of money. Yeah. This and you so can great. change your look instantly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So ev yeah. ev anyone who's watching us right now thinking, what are these two ladies talking about? Okay. Wigs and everything. <laughs> We're going to give you some insight, of mm -hmm. course. All right. Hair industry is a billion dollar industry. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, now you know. If you're mm -hmm. an investor, these are the type of people you should be investing in, all right? Take a look at Beauty 101, where we seek to demystify the custom-made wig. Watch. Hey, hey, so guys, today I'm here to show you how to make a no-part full wig. And here is the hair that I'm using. And I use three bundles of their Peruvian curly hair. This is the cap I'm using to make the wig. And the first thing I always do is wash my extensions. So here is the hair after it's been washed and dried. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap on my mannequin head. And starting from the back, I'm gonna start sewing the extensions onto the cap. I like to sew through the wefts just because I feel like it's a bit more sturdy, but you can definitely sew around them if you prefer that. I'm sewing straight around and then when I get to the end I'm flipping the hair over moving up and continuing in the other direction Okay, so I've sewed in the two bundles and I just followed the natural curve of the mannequin head. And now with the last bundle, I'm gonna start sewing the hair going straight across. Just like last time, when I get to the end, I'm gonna fold over the weft and keep going forward until I get to the very front. So the unit is done and now I'm gonna put it on. I left out a small section of my hair on the side and I rotted it so it will blend in with the extensions. And then I made a braid going straight across. So I'm gonna line up the unit with that braid and sew it down right onto it. Once that's secure, I'm taking out the rods and blending my hair with the extension hair. I'm just taking my hair and intertwining it with the Peruvian hair so it will blend seamlessly. And then lastly, I'm going in and lightly layering the hair and cutting off those scraggly ends. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. And believe it or not, this is actually my first time doing this type of install. And um, I think it came out pretty good. I'm actually really happy with it. Well, now you know, now you know, ladies. So if you're struggling and you just don't know what to do, wigs is the way to go. All right. So 
One of the things I can definitely say is I've seen some of the customers that you deal with, mm -hmm. Veronica, mm -hmm. are all ages, types, range. Mm -hmm. Everyone? Ev Whoever? Everyone. Yeah? Not many yet, but everyone, yeah, yes, okay. yes, yes. But when you talk about customizing, and we've just seen a snippet mm -hmm. of what it mm -hmm. means to customize. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you talk about customizing, um, can I come to you and tell you this is the kind, I want wavy, and I want... Anything. You can even you send a picture and we'll do it. Really? Yes. How long does it take? A day. One day? Mm -hmm. Oh. One day. <laughs> wow. I one think I'm, I might order one yeah. from you. Oh. Um, the cost mm -hmm. is a huge deal. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't understand why women are spending so much money on hair. Yes. Talk to me about that. Um, why it's expensive or yes. why women spend a lot why of money? Why it's expensive? Um, for, okay, for, I'll talk about my, my business in the terms of for the wigs that we sell, um, for example, a full lace wig would be more expensive than a lace front wig. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I, there's a lot of people making wigs using weaves and a closure. That would be the, the cheapest of all the wigs. It's just based on the cap construction, the okay. quality of hair, and the quality of the lace material used. Okay. So all that, all those factors determine the final price. There's also, I mean, um, in some areas they tell you, tell me your budget and I'll give you a wig for that. Oh. But we, we don't want to operate like that. Okay. We want to offer quality. So from that aspect, um, that determines the final price of the product. Okay. Yeah. And what about care? Because you can have a wig for years mm -hmm. if you take care of yes. it well. Because right. this is yes. real hair, y'all. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. it, it is. <laughs> it's not fake. It's, yeah, yes. talk to me about that. Um, the care and maintenance is really, really simple and straightforward. Do you guys do that or you let the, you we, just advise? We do that as well. Mm -hmm. We do aftercare, we do wig laundry, but I'll, I, we also share a video on how you can DIY at home. Okay. So you don't even need to step in a hair salon Fantastic. at all. Yeah, yeah. Do you know you're going to make salons obsolete? Don't say that. No, 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 no. No, we, we, yeah. Yeah. We, we, are, we all, no, 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 there's something we for everybody. All, exactly. There's something for we, everybody. We're all yes. going to win, aren't yes. we? We're yes. all going to win. Yes. All right. Yes. Guys, Veronica came with, of course, a beautiful model and mm -hmm. some wigs, all right? And we're going to pick a volunteer from our audience and just see how her look transforms in just a couple of minutes. We'll be right back after this break. And of course, we say thank you to Minute Maid for their amazing pop juice. Isn't it great? It's, it's, I'm, I'm it's actually really it good. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really good. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, mm -hmm. we'll be right back after this. Mm -hmm.